This tutorial is going to go over some of the quick text changing features that are also included in the Action Illustrated Instant Designer. Now I've already used my template browser to choose this cactus and I've already used my text tool within CorelDRAW to create this text. So now I'm just going to use my pick tool to select this text by clicking on it and then coming up here I'm going to click on the text envelope button. Here it allows me to apply an envelope to my text. I'm going to choose a bridge top and then I can also adjust the rise percentage. I'm going to make it 50% and hit OK. Now you can see it's a nice curved text above my cactus. If I want to add an outline to this I just go ahead and click on my text and then click on the text outline button. It gives me the option of a first and second outline. I'm going to go ahead and click right here to adjust the first outline. I'm going to make it a width of six points and I'm going to make it white. I'm also going to select it with rounded corners and behind fill and scale with image. I would always recommend um, having both of these boxes selected when you're working with outlines in CorelDRAW. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now my second outline needs to be thicker than my first outline. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to 16 points. For the color, I'm going to use my eyedropper right here. So I can come right in here and choose the exact same dark green for my cactus. Once again, rounded corners, behind fill, scale with image. Go ahead and hit OK. And when I hit OK, you can see it put this double outline on my text and it's very easy. We can also add text onto a circle using the Instant Designer. Simply make a circle using the Ellipse tool within Corel. And then use the Text tool and type out your text. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size and style of this right now. Now, here, what I want to do is while I have my text selected, I hold down my shift key and also select my circle. Now you'll notice that the text on a circle tool becomes available to us. Just click on that. It gives you the options where you can select where on the circle you want the text. I'm going to choose outside bottom and hit OK. And now we have the text curving on the outside of the circle. Before adding any outlines to this text, you will want to separate it from the circle. To do this, go to Arrange and Break Text Apart. This separates the text from the circle, allowing you to delete the circle. Now you can come here and add any outlines if you want to. Go ahead and find that same green color, I think. There we go. And now you can see in a very short amount of time, we can create some really good looking text.